In this podcast episode, Dr. Robert Lustig, an endocrinologist, discusses the detrimental effects of sugar consumption on health. He emphasizes that the type of food consumed, rather than calorie counting, is crucial for weight loss. Lustig explains that sugar, particularly fructose, is highly addictive and can lead to various health conditions such as diabetes, mental health problems, cognitive decline, and even early death. Lustig highlights that consuming just one sugared beverage per day can increase the risk of diabetes by 29%. He points out that sugar is added to 73% of items in grocery stores by the food industry to make products more appealing and increase sales. This hidden sugar in processed foods contributes to the overconsumption of sugar in society, far exceeding recommended limits. The podcast delves into the neurological effects of sugar consumption, comparing the neurotransmitters dopamine and serotonin. Lustig explains that dopamine, released in response to sugar consumption, can lead to addiction as it stimulates the reward center in the brain. In contrast, serotonin, associated with happiness, is inhibited by dopamine, leading to a cycle of seeking pleasure over true happiness. The discussion shifts to the impact of sugar on children, with alarming statistics revealing that many kids exceed recommended sugar limits, especially through school meals. Lustig shares a study conducted at UCSF where children with obesity and metabolic syndrome were put on a low-sugar diet for 10 days. The results showed significant improvements in metabolic health, blood pressure, blood glucose levels, and insulin sensitivity, highlighting the negative effects of excess sugar consumption. The podcast also touches on the corporate interference in promoting sugar consumption, with the food industry paying off scientists to downplay the harmful effects of sugar. Lustig exposes the tactics used by the sugar industry to manipulate research and public perception, leading to widespread misinformation about the health risks of sugar. The conversation extends to the global obesity epidemic, with projections indicating that by 2050, obesity will become the norm rather than the exception. Lustig emphasizes the link between sugar consumption and obesity, metabolic syndrome, and reduced life expectancy. He stresses the need for societal changes to address the overconsumption of sugar and its detrimental effects on health. In discussing beverages, Lustig points out that 33% of sugar consumption comes from sugary drinks, with the poor and underserved being the biggest consumers. He highlights the dangers of both sugary and diet beverages, noting that diet drinks can also have negative health consequences despite being marketed as a healthier alternative. Lustig delves into the toxicity of diet sodas, stating that the toxicity of one sugared soda is equivalent to that of two diet sodas. He explains that even though diet sodas contain zero sugar, they still trigger an insulin response in the body, leading to various health issues. Insulin, a growth factor, can cause vascular smooth muscle growth, glandular growth, heart disease, and cancer. He emphasizes that controlling insulin levels is crucial for overall health and weight management. The podcast also explores the relationship between sugar consumption and hormone levels. Lustig explains that high sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance, fatty liver disease, kidney dysfunction, and high blood pressure. He emphasizes that insulin is a primary driver of obesity, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome, urging listeners to focus on reducing insulin levels to improve their health. Lustig discusses the impact of sugar on the liver, highlighting how fructose inhibits mitochondrial function, leading to metabolic dysfunction. He emphasizes the importance of eating real food that is metabolically healthy and avoiding processed foods high in added sugars. He criticizes the food industry for deceptive advertising and mislabeling products, urging consumers to be cautious of marketing claims and to prioritize whole, unprocessed foods. The podcast addresses the challenges of modern lifestyles, where stress and fatigue can lead to cravings for sugary snacks. Lustig explains that sugar addiction is a real phenomenon, driven by the addictive nature of fructose on the brain's reward center. He provides actionable advice for listeners, recommending them to focus on reducing insulin levels by cutting out refined carbohydrates and sugar from their diets. Lustig shares his research experience and academic background, highlighting his work with obese children and adults to understand the role of insulin in weight management. 
His passion for pediatric care and advocacy for children's health drives his commitment to educating the public about the dangers of excessive sugar consumption and the importance of making informed dietary choices. Lustig challenges the traditional medical belief that diabetes is a chronic and progressive disease that cannot be reversed. He highlights the importance of getting the pancreas to produce insulin properly and the liver to respond to insulin effectively. Lustig suggests various dietary approaches, such as ketogenic diets, paleo diets, and intermittent fasting to improve insulin sensitivity and reverse type 2 diabetes. The conversation shifts to leptin, a hormone that regulates energy balance and metabolism. Lustig explains that leptin resistance can lead to increased hunger and reduced physical activity, contributing to weight gain. He discusses the impact of environmental obesogens, such as chemicals in the environment that promote weight gain by affecting fat cell differentiation and growth. He mentions various obesogens, including pesticides, phthalates, and BPA, and their potential role in obesity. Lustig also touches on the concept of skinny fat, where individuals appear thin but have high levels of visceral fat and liver fat, which can lead to metabolic dysfunction. He explains the differences between subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, and liver fat, and the amount of each fat depot that can contribute to metabolic illness. The discussion then delves into the importance of fiber in the diet. Lustig emphasizes that fiber is essential for feeding the microbiome in the gut and promoting gut health. He explains that fiber is not just waste material, but a crucial component for maintaining a healthy gut microbiome. He highlights the role of fiber in supporting the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut and improving overall health. The discussion delves into the concept of bacterial diversity in the gut and how it is crucial for maintaining a balanced microbiome. Lustig highlights the significance of having multiple species of bacteria in the gut to prevent any one species from dominating, which can lead to metabolic imbalances. He explains that a diverse microbiome helps in maintaining the integrity of the intestinal barriers, such as the mucin layer and tight junctions, which play a crucial role in preventing harmful substances from entering the bloodstream and causing inflammation. Lustig also addresses the issue of fiber consumption, pointing out that while our ancestors consumed between 50 and 100 grams of fiber per day, the current dietary guidelines recommend only 25 grams. He highlights the disparity between recommended and actual fiber intake in the U.S., where the average consumption is only around 12 grams per day. This lack of fiber in the diet is attributed to the processing of food, which removes essential nutrients and fiber, leading to a host of health issues. The conversation shifts towards the impact of processed food on our health, with Lustig explaining how the food industry manipulates food to make it more shelf-stable and profitable. He gives the example of freezing fruits to extend their shelf life, which compromises their nutritional value. He emphasizes the need for regulatory measures to ensure that food manufacturers prioritize the health of consumers over profit margins. The discussion then delves into the concept of personal responsibility and societal intervention in addressing the obesity epidemic. Lustig argues that blaming individuals for their health issues is not effective and that systemic changes are needed to tackle the root causes of metabolic disorders. He cites the example of the UK government successfully reducing sodium levels in processed foods, leading to a significant decrease in hypertension and stroke rates. Lustig introduces the concept of the metabolic matrix, which outlines three principles for turning food into a metabolically healthy option. Protect the liver, feed the gut, and support the brain. He explains that foods that align with these principles are beneficial for overall health, while those that do not contribute to metabolic imbalances and health issues. The conversation concludes with a reflection on the interconnected nature of various health crises, including diabetes, mental health disorders, and global health challenges. Lustig highlights the role of the amygdala in driving chronic diseases and emphasizes the need to address the underlying factors contributing to these health issues.